Hello everyone. Today I am playing a course by someone who goes by My Golf Game Sucks. This is Mail Tide Estate and GC for the TGC Tours Major Design Contest. I hope I'm saying that right. Mail Tide. He says, Hallowed Ground, nope. This is Golf Estate Living by the Rich and Not So Famous. He says it'll be highly playable with a few decisions at times needing to be made from the tee. If you're out of position you risk, risk perhaps dropping a shot. Undulating greens and deep bunkers could make this less fun when the trusty old swing decides to be off for the day. My swing's been off for a little while so hopefully I can pull it back for this course I would say. Let's go and have a quick look-see. What have we got up here? Um, ah, okay. Just wondering where the heck the next hole is. And there it is. Okay. Zoom up here just for a little overview of the whole course. So it starts in this direction and then comes back and then wraps around a little lake and stuff, obviously. Cool beans. Hmm. Okay, what's the... Okay, I don't think anyone likes the uh, stripes. We'll get that. I'll just say that right off the bat. Very large green. Very large green. And um, I don't think either angle matters. From I mean, either angle you're you're left with a, a backstop, and it's quite friendly. So certainly a decision to be had off the first tee, though. I'll just try to split the gap if I can. This is, yeah, I mean, either way, it's just such a long shot in that you really do need to think about that. Oh, that could be good. Kick on. Quick greens as well. Good start. <coughs> Nine meters down. Interesting look. It's not a bad look by any means. Uh, maybe doesn't need this tree or maybe the one over the back. Uh, that's a personal preference. Maybe just let the rocks do their thing. Hmm. And the big bunker well in front of the green is probably not necessary, but. Just trying to make sure that my dog doesn't keep barking. Okay. Bit of a wind behind. I hope this will get there. Just a straight putt. Okay, what have we got 
here. Par 5. Along the water. Narrow. Very narrow, massive green. Uh, the center line has it makes no sense to me whatsoever. Why would I ever try to go that side would be my question. Because the better angle is from this direction for almost the entire green. That's not the angle for a lot of these pin locations. Plus you bring that tree into play. Uh, I would say... Uh, I'll reserve judgment. This is the second uh, non par 3 with a center line hazard. But you don't want to get uh, too many of those. Oh, that's a bad swing. another bad one. Oh dear. Having a shocker on this hole so far. Still get the birdie though. <coughs> Oof. That's nasty. I'm not sure that makes much sense, the stream. But that's fine. Okie dokie. Well, we want to kind of want to come from the left hand side quite close to the water 390 I'm going to chop down and take the wider part of the fairway I'm not going to take on the water I'm okay with a worse angle when it's a wedge in and slow swing that's not good Very narrow again. A heck of a lot of bunkering. Yeah, probably just want to come from the left hand side, so. This is a tough hole with this length and. How narrow it gets up here. Just played a little cut in. Uh, it's a friendly, very friendly fairway though. Still leaves. Let's probably go five iron. Camber's going to send me right. Hopefully the wind will send me back. Not too bad. Pretty good start. I think the greens are pretty generous. Yes, they're very large to start with, but uh, you've done you have done a pretty good job of the fact that these aren't like glaringly red. Uh, they're very subtle. I just think uh, it looks like you know quite a bit of flattening's happened and quite a big radius around the hole. Uh, there could be some. You know, these, these maybe maybe they'll get harder. So far, they've been quite generous.
Not not sure about all these buildings we're playing around. It just doesn't quite seem right. Like you say, it's an estate. Uh, some pretty random buildings. We're going centerline hazard again. Par five. Landing area is probably pinched enough as it is. Uh, goodness me. It's just some refining of ideas and details that's needed. Low swing. That'll leave a that'll leave a tough putt. Uh, it's a long putt. You can see what I mean by by how flat it is, though. I mean, there's only the one bigish break, and it's such a long putt. Was that 26 meter putt? I think you could do more with that, is all I'm saying. What am I doing? Now set. I'm okay with that. I uh, got way out of position uh, on the green and so I got punished for it. But I'll take a par. I don't know about this. Okay, so you, you've got some massive greens. And then this one is like actually a, a fairly reasonable size, definitely not as large, and it's a double green. That makes very little sense to me. Also there's like a lack of consistency with where the grass is, like why isn't it down here, why isn't it on the other side, uh, why does it just appear there? There's just a few inconsistencies is all I would say uh, in sculpting uh, and decision making like uh, all of a sudden a, a wall appears uh, I, I guess you could argue it's needed because of the road or something but you're not going to get really erosion in a lake that much some of the shapes are just a bit strange so, okay double green again uh, this makes more sense. Just size wise for the green. It's a fairly very gentle tee shot. Very generous landing area. And if I don't hit slow swings that would be nice. Oops. I thought I'd smash that way past. Okay, on to the 10th. 
kind of, yeah, I mean, the center line has it again, really. I mean, it's creative. Uh, don't don't personally love it, but. You've chopped off this option. It's unfortunate. That would have been fun. So I'll just try to bomb it over the corner. Nah, it didn't get there. But I'll just go back to here anyway. Back myself to try to get up and down. Oh dear. In general with the greens I'd say most of them have been just a bit too big but as, as far as the actual green sloping I think it's been pretty good. Now off the tee other than this being an eyesore in the water I like the look of this. Yeah, it's a cool look off the tee, I think. It's going to roll off the back. Tough green to, tough position to hit with this wind. I won't, I won't say it anymore, but another center line has it. Just, just think about fewer of those. Is all I would suggest. Oh, interesting. And just green sizes, green sizes, center line hazards. Little cut into the wind works a treat. Now this is all about distance control, you don't want to go over the back, you don't want to be short. That slow swing is just going to be a killer for me. Usually fast. Oh, that's bad. That's a good size screen. This is a good size screen. Yeah, I guess just in general, like some of the off-course stuff I've just found very distracting. Off, uh, particularly off the tees. Uh, I appreciate you filling the, the frame and stuff, but almost, uh, you know, if this is going to be feel like a quite a tight shoot, this is all really nicely done. This planting, the undergrowth, the the bigger trees, the grasses, really, really good. I mean, that's a bit big, but if that was also on this side and crowding the driving, you know, area. I think that would be exquisite. As it is, I think that's brilliant. This, not so much. So more, uh, the more planting you do like that, with, with uh, light seeping through and all that sort of stuff, that looks fantastic. Okay. 
sort of an island crane. Very narrow. A little bit of camber. Just gotta hit your shot. And if you're brave, you go for it. Bunk is fine. Should be able to get up and down for a birdie out of that, really. Uh, in general, I think that's uh, pretty cool, this thing. I just think, where's the water going though? Seems like a real threat to the screen. It's a waterfall and then there's no movement in the water there. But in general, I think it's cool. A little bit. Uh, one last time, these are kind of being a little bit overdone at the front of greens. But I do like the look of the soul. Oh, bit of a nope. Got me angles wrong. five more I want to come from the right hand side for this so to get over that bunker yeah like just stuff like this man that's all just sort that sculpting out a bit more realistic would be good. Is this getting over there? Oh, I should have put some spin on it. Yeah, just you can see a little bit of crinkliness there. Probably seems uh, super savage at parts. Like, I mean, this is not bad. This is like little things everybody learns when they're doing, you know, relatively new to the designs and stuff. I, I'm guessing that you are. Like, it's creative, but it's it's completely unnecessary, and it, it honestly it does take away from the actual golf. Now oh, this is that bad double green. Decisions were made. I don't love all those decisions. The only other thing with some of the background stuff is it just it doesn't quite look like it makes sense either. Like it 
kind of reminds me of Sim City or something in some ways. Like, just doesn't quite look natural. That was silly. You're right about you have to um, have your swing on, which I do not. Cool. So there's a lot of good. Uh, there's still a lot to work on, obviously. Uh, there was a <coughs> sorry. There's a, some some good ideas, and I think it just gets a little bit cluttered up by some of the extras that you've chucked on the course that are not necessarily necessary. Um, you can certainly work on sculpting and that sort of stuff here and there. Um, was it this par five or this par five? The planting that you did on the right hand side just like remember that and do that again like that would be beautiful if, if you played a course you know through forest like that um, through planting like that that would be brilliant and with less of yeah have a clubhouse but we don't need all the homes and stuff I know that's what you're going for it is the you know an estate of the rich and not so famous but uh, if I was rich and not so famous don't know if I'd want to be living there that's all I'll say about some of the houses uh, but yeah it was still an enjoyable golfing experience I wish you the best of luck in the competition and I'll be back again soon for another playthrough have a good one